Welcome back to San San Francisco. We have, this is match three, I believe, from the Games of Berkeley tournament. So I have with me Seth. So this is kind of a new thing. Seth is playing on the right side of the screen. And do you want to explain your deck, Seth? Uh, yeah. Uh, so for the first game here, uh, I'm playing a pretty standard uh, old-style Haas Bayreuth fast advance deck. I'm running, uh, you know, your three, your three ABTs, your three Project Vitruvius, uh, two one-point agendas, and three efficiency committees. I've got my San San, Biotic Labor, Shipment from San San, which gives you additional fast advantage potential with the efficiency committees once you've scored them. My goal is just get to seven points as fast as possible. Use the core HP identity's ability to get more money while you're installing to pay for it as fast as possible. Okay, yeah, that's that's uh, all sounds good. And do you want to talk about your opponent here really quickly? Yes. So my opponent for this round is Martin. He's a close friend of mine. He got me into Netrunner. Uh, we've been playing against each other for almost two years now, and we've played each other a million times. So he's playing a 100% aggro Gabe deck with Parasites, Data Suckers. Just He rushes down every server as fast as possible. You have to ice all of your centrals because he has sneak door, and he's always going to make a sneak door run if he can because it gets in that game money. And I've been playing a similar deck to his for a while now, and I, I enjoy it quite a lot. It's a very solid. It looked like he started off with two sure gambles, so that is a yeah. <laughs> I, okay, so you have some ice. Uh, I didn't quite see everything you had there. Yeah, I believe I had a, I had a guard and one other ice and a sand sand in this opening hand, I believe. Oh, guard, yeah. So have you been, how many guards do you have in the deck? I'm only running one, and it hasn't really been impressing me. Uh, okay. It's probably going to be coming out for another card. Uh, maybe another Rototurret or an Ichi, or... Yeah, it, it's easily the least impressive card in my deck right now. I see. It seems like this is the perfect uh, situation to have that card, though, so we'll see if that works out for you at all. And it looks like... Uh, yeah. Martin is mulligan. So he had did two sure gambles, but he didn't really have anything else he needed. He didn't have any of the Desperado, uh, Data Sucker, Sneak Door, any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, this Gabe deck cannot wait around to draw into those. If it can't get off the ground running, if it gives me two turns to get everything set up without putting out pressure and gets locked out before it can get the Data Sucker train rolling, it's not going to win. And something interesting to point out is there's a new spoilers today from Lunar Cycle, and it looks like we're getting the uh, ice that cannot be lowered in strength. So that'll have an interesting effect on this criminal deck. So he has legwork, he had a parasite, uh, fairy, some yeah. other... Much more aggressive draw for him. Uh, oh, right, I had green level clearance. It's one of my favorite cards in this deck. With uh, any fast advance deck, you really you need to draw cards to win the game because you have to draw into enough fast advance pieces and enough agendas. And there you are Green installing, level. getting your credit. Yeah. Have you have you played with blue level at all in any comparison? I, used to, I in fact, used to run blue level. Uh, but I was running blue level with Grimms. So got as the high end, there. Yeah, on the high end of my ice. Uh, but people started packing a lot more recursion, a lot more clone chips. So I stopped running those. And when I stopped running those, I wanted to... Since I wasn't giving people bad publicity anymore... Uh, I went from blue level to Adonis campaign to increase my taxing and get a little bit more money in the deck. Makes sense. So you had a, I mean, so guard there on HQ at the start is, uh, it's not, maybe you want that on remote ideally, but that's still a pretty good start there. You had the pop up one on R&D, you had a solid defense there on HQ, so not a bad start here. Yeah, no, it, it's a fine start, definitely, that's why I kept the hand, but, you know, th this is why I don't like guard. It's four credits, and right. it's only two strengths, so Parasite deals with it really quickly. Would you ever put that down, like, maybe turn one or two to try and score out an ABT early? Is that kind of where you were seeing that being played? Yeah, uh, that's what I thought I would do with it, but I've played with it in three tournaments now, and it's just never come up. Right, okay, fair enough. Yeah, so he has the Parasite on there, so he will clear that guard pretty quickly here. And I, I take a risk here by icing up a remote instead of icing HQ again, but it's a calculated risk. I want to be able to have a place to put a San San or an Adonis or an Agenda. You know, it's interesting there. It looks like he had a planned stall and a fairy in hand, but he decided not to siphon just yet. Yeah. Well, he, he figured he only needed to wait one more turn. Uh, right. I hadn't installed over it last time, but I found an ice and dropped it down. 
Fair enough, yeah. Okay, so it looks like we have some remote play going here, and this is looking like a, you know, an agenda to me. Do you think this is the case? Do you remember? Uh, I don't remember. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a San Sam. You know, commentating these games, I often am surprised how little I remember of specific plays. Like, I wouldn't be able to remember if that was an agenda either. <laughs> But uh, so he, he's deciding if he wants to click through Eli right now, which is always a tough decision for Gabe. I mean, there, there's benefits. It's not a automatic no. Yeah. I mean, there's reasons to do it. It's like you're clicking for two credits, plus you get to see a card. So right. he, ends up, he ends up making the call, and he sees an archive memories. And three credits here. So hopefully he actually remembers to take those credits because he has the Desperado. I think That's he started right. with three, so um, I think oh, he forgot to he take the money, right? Forgotten the all right, well, that happens. Oh, that was an agenda. Okay. It's getting early Vitruvius. Solid score. Yep. How often uh, do you over-advance Vitruvius? Uh, very rarely, and I've actually... I used... In my previous build with blue level clearance, I didn't run Archive Memories, so I do it occasionally. Now I am running two Archive Memories. I have yet to over-advance a Vitruvius a single time. Right, yeah, that makes sense. So now you're uh, you're low on money, but you got you got some solid centrals here. Um, I, I guess an indexing at this point would be sad, but it uh, looks like he puts a fairy down. Yeah, he wants to get those out, and now's the perfect time. I can't possibly score on the next turn, uh, but I can install. Yeah, so you, t you take three money there because your HB installation gives you a yeah. credit as well. Such and a solid that, ability. Yeah, that's why I run HB and not NBN. The extra credits add up to so much money over the course of the game. This game, I've gotten five credits from that which is the amount of money you know that grendel gets right and all right so he'd uh, planned yep. assaults he siphons away i think four credits there and he just clicks through eli so that is his turn yep do you have but any tag punishment in this deck i do not there's really no way to fit it you're running so many the fast advance deck wants to fast advance as fast as possible it wants to score everything right, yeah. asap and you don't have room for very many extraneous cards, so I can't fit in the Tag Punishment. So I believe he remembered... Well, I think he remembered to take his Gabe money that time. Okay, there he's taking his Desperado a little bit uh, after the fact, but he got it. Yeah. Alright, so what what is going through your mind at this point in the game? What is your game plan? Uh, my game plan is probably I need, I need money. Uh, like, right now, I just need money. That's all there is to it. Now I'm 100% sure that's not an agenda on the table. That's that's probably either, a San San, right? It's a San San yeah. or an Adonis. I'm okay. Yeah, it's a San San. I'm fine with that. I know he's going to kill it. He always does because Martin's played a lot of games and he knows you don't let the San San stick around. Absolutely, especially when you could get into the server so easily. That is the the time you want to trash it. Yeah, and I'm fine with that because it took away you know half the money that he got from the run. And do you do you have uh, anything to get those back? Do you have uh, Jackson Howard? Yep, do you, I have do you three use Jackson the, uh... Howards, two archive memories. Okay, and no interns. No interns. Yeah, yeah, archive memories kind of serves that same purpose. So I could see that. Yeah, it, well, and it's actually a little bit better because you also recur your biotic labors. Yes, yeah, more flexibility there. And it, yeah, it, that, that makes sense. All right, so it looks like he's drawn up for something. Um, looks like he just drew a Plaskrete, so, okay, so he's, he's getting ready to hammer HQ again. Trying to make it more efficient. Yeah. yeah, now, unfortunately, I just, the only economy I've drawn so far has been the one green level clearance. So, I'm feeling the burn. If I didn't have, if I wasn't Hoss right, I wouldn't have been able to score that agenda. I have so little money. But being House right. Bioroid is why I was able to do it. I was able to get the money for that. Yeah. Now he's just moving his parasite out of the way so that I can put that down. I've and it looks like you do. you were yeah. trying to decide if you wanted to overwrite the Eli, but I guess you figured the Eli is going to defend your HQ for at least a few more tur turns, and it's worth the especially when it's basically free for you to install that ice above Eli. Yeah. Uh, and then I have nothing else. Better to do with my turn, so I archived memories the sand sand, figuring he's probably going to have to go kill it again, and that'll take care of most of his money. Did do you ever consider in that case throwing down an agenda? I don't think I had one at this point. Okay, is that a play you ever consider? I mean, maybe if the runner was a Not little bit lower in money. Not on three yeah. credits. Yeah, fair enough. 
I could see you doing that if the runner was at like two credits and they, they, they see you take the sand sand and just figure, you know, especially if you're yeah. low on money too. Yeah, but uh, I'm not sure if either of the ice there can be rest on three or it, it might be that one of them is Eli, but I'm not sure. That's another of the reasons I'm not liking guard is the four credit cost for just an ATR. Yeah, it seems like, um, do you use Chimera in this deck? Um, I'm trying to remember if I used it in the build that I took to this tournament, uh, but I used to use Chimera in the previous version that used Trip 3 Grims because it was just so fantastic if you're killing parts of their rig. Oh, yeah. Grim but into I, the... I, as of this tournament, I'd either cut it down to one or zero copies. Oh, so he gets the okay. Not not too bad. He gets the, but he's seen. Ah, uh, but this is this is Gabe doing what Gabe does. Yeah. So he just went in there twice, right? That wasn't any sort of yeah. He doesn't have on yeah. the interface. Okay. Yeah. But he dropped the yog, so it didn't cost him any credits, and right. just gave me credits and went through. Got three points as a result. So that's a solid start there. All right, you just credit up again. At this point, I'm, I'm crediting up to risk, uh, to threaten, uh, resing that sand sand and using it. Uh, I'm at seven credits right now, which is enough to res a sand sand, install an agenda, and advance it twice. Again, because I'm hospiroid, I can do this sort of thing. If NBN would need eight credits to make the same play. So he goes in again, it doesn't see anything. Right, because of your free install credit. And you're using the, uh, the, what is that, the plastic HP identity. Was that, that was from Regionals 2013, right? Yes, yes. I got that when I won the San Francisco Regionals last year. Uh, but I won the uh, Hospitaloid alternate ID for, for my placement in this tournament. And I'm running with that now. Oh, okay, yeah. That, that makes sense. That's a pretty, pretty, good, a pretty good alternate card. Oh, so he's getting his whole breaker suite out here. Yep. Uh, all he's missing is the data sucker to tie it all together. But at yes. the moment, he doesn't need it. Yeah. He and he, he once he does draw the data sucker, he could get some tokens pretty pretty easily here. Uh, he also does not have a sneak door yet. Uh, he still has that legwork in hand. He draws into a planned assault. Yes. And at this point, the planned assault is almost certainly going to end up being for an indexing. Yes, he, he does have that Yogg set up already for that. Okay, yeah. so you score ABT. I'm guessing you don't trigger here. You, you don't seem no. to trigger the ABT too often. Uh, I've been triggering it more often recently because I added the Adonis campaigns in addition to the Sand Sands and the, and the Jacksons. I have more Jacksons on the table just in other servers because I go a little bit wider. So I've had more Jacksons on the table. If I have Jackson on the table, I will almost always activate the yeah, ABT. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so here's here's what you're talking about. He's going into index. Yep. So giving you a little bit of money, but uh, getting some but, agenda points yeah. he needs to win. <laughs> and I knew this was a risk, but setting up the remote is too important to shut him shut Gabe down, like to actually get the points to win the game. And your your gamble here, like hopefully this this whiffs, like so. Okay, he does get something here. He gets oh, he gets a Vitruvius, yep. but uh, so now he doesn't have enough money to go kill the Sand Sand. So if you have another agenda in hand, you have another easy score here, mm -hmm. especially with that pop money he gave you. Yeah, and it's situations like these where uh, which have led me to start running a fast track, because when you're in this situation, we're just like I just need to get the agenda. Uh, it's fairly easy to set up a situation where you can just fast track into one. And what was that there? He just got an HQ, it looks like? Yeah. He, oh, he, he's, he he's just paying one with the... Okay, yeah, yeah that makes yeah. sense. He figured that I wasn't going to res that ice that's in front of the Eli because I'm at three. And if I were to yeah. res it, that would take me off the ability to score an agenda that I drew. Sure. Uh, yeah, and he was getting in for free. Yeah. And... Unfortunately for me, uh, I don't have an agenda in hand because he's been pulling all of them off the top. And this is a thing that people don't don't quite realize when you're playing a fast advance deck, and the opponent scores one of your agendas, either from your hand or from R&D. It's actually a double blow. Like, it's much worse than it is for non-fast advance decks, because not only did they get points, and they're closer to winning, 
They took the point away. Now you need to draw into another agenda to keep scoring. Did you shuffle R and D? Because I, I don't think he'd gone through the indexing yet. Uh, no, I don't think I did. I think that was. Or may, maybe I'm not exactly sure why, but maybe he um, wanted to give you money so he could siphon it away. I. But you had oh, like. Oh. Uh... Oh, I think that might have been what happened. Okay. Yeah. I discarded from hand, I believe. Okay. Yeah, there might have been that... something like that going on. I'm not exactly sure why, but um. Or maybe he just thought the indexing was up. Oh no, yeah, it looks like he took all your money. Yep, yeah. he actually <laughs> runs, I res the guard, he breaks the ferry to get through, and then he account siphons for the two, because he knows, as I do, that I need one credit to score off a of sand sand. Right, yeah, he or needs to make sure he shipment. gets all your money. Yeah, or I need shipment from sand sand, which I do run, uh, but I don't believe I have a copy in hand, nor do I have a copy of an agenda. Do you know what ice you have over the sand sand? I don't have any idea. I don't think it ends up mattering. <laughs> okay, maybe that's never rezzed. Yeah, so now on his next turn, he could go in there and kill the sand sand. Yeah. So I am drawing like mad because I have no money. I have no economy. I have no uh, agendas. Basically, I don't have anything to do. For the time being, you do have a defended HQ at least, though. <laughs> so that's yeah. something. <laughs> yeah, it's a slight... It's, which is part of the reason why I'm drawing like Matt. I want to draw into some economy cards. I would prefer just not to click. And if I can draw into an, one agenda, I knew he was going to run R&D. So if I could draw into an agenda, I know I would have the one to score it. Right. If it was an ABT or a Truth. Because and I that know Martin. That pop-up no has given you money. probably like six credits this game. It did, it did give yeah. up, you know, five agenda points, yeah. but it has given you good money. <laughs> it's given me an absolute ton of money, and if I hadn't been hit with two account siphons and had... You yeah, know, you'd be in a great for, position. Yeah, he's hit me with two parasites and two account siphons. That's what Gabe wants to do. That is where he wants to be. And now the sneak door comes in. Oh, well, so, it, okay, I see, I see, yeah. Oh, so you have definitely a biotic as well. So you have three biotic, and is it two or three sand sands? Three sand sands. Yeah, all in. <laughs> yeah. So you're you're using sand sand as your all your influence then? Oh uh, no, it's between uh, so it's nine influence. And... Yeah, nine fl influence on sand sand, three on Jackson Howard, uh, one on pop up, and two on shipments. Ah, okay. Oh, now now you're uh, you got R and D locked down pretty pretty good there yeah now i figure he's I mean, he's still gonna go through a lot because he knows he needs to run but uh now at least he yeah, costs he... more more than nothing right so it looks like you probably still haven't drawn an agenda or you you haven't drawn a three two you might have an efficiency committee in hand no, it's possible i'm not and sure what's uh, going on at this point Except that I, again, you know, no economy cards and that double account siphon. The only reason I'm going at all is because of my HP. But yeah, that turn I installed, advanced, and uh, took two credits so that I could kill something. I killed the Corroder. And notably, his deck does not have recursion, so that Corroder is out of play. Yeah, at this point, he thinks he's absolutely screwed because that is his only, his only, he's used his two Parasites and his Corroder are all gone. Right. So there's no way for him to get through a barrier at this point. Outside of maybe like an emergency shutdown or something, but that's usually not yeah, too good against barriers. Yeah, or an inside job in a lot of cases. Right, right, sure. But uh, you, so, you don't really have any... I mean, Eli is a barrier, but he could click through it, so there's no barriers on the table yet. Yeah. So he At has... this point, I draw, I think, a wall of static, and I just drop it down, because now I know oh, wall yeah. of static is better than any combination of other ice, and I just want money. Yes, you you could probably. I, I think it would be. Oh, so here's the fem. He doesn't have yeah. enough to install it yet, though. So yeah, he just special ordered, or maybe he special ordered and paid for it all at once. Yeah, he remember he he had not spent the money from that previous. Okay, yeah, that makes from sense. From the previous account siphon. So at this point is when he spends the money from that previous account siphon. And he, again, he he had spent, he had broken through Eli a couple of times, but he had also uh, sneaked over a couple of times. And as Gabe, that's just so much money three credits for each of those runs 
Yeah. So, so he, he runs, uh, this is really the only time he's going to be able to, like, he's not going to be able to run for much longer before I can keep him out. But long enough, he buys himself another turn by getting the third siphon hit. And he's eventually just going to pull an agenda off the top of R&D. So that's his game plan at this point. Just R&D lock and uh, keep your money low. Yeah. Now he can't really R&D lock me because he's not playing any multi-access other than indexing. So if I can draw into a wall of static at any point, I can lock him out pretty effectively. Oh, that's interesting. So you, okay, so this is a little, trying to figure out what, I, that was probably an upgrade you put down on the sand sand, right? Uh, it was pr probably an Adonis campaign. But ah, I'm okay. Thinking. Yeah, yeah and, I, and I, I, it's either an Adonis campaign or a Jackson Howard. I put it in a new server instead. Figuring that if on the start of my next turn I were to ma mandatory draw into an agenda, I want the sand sand clear. Right. So he's going to legwork. Yep, and he goes to the legwork, and yeah. I so think he's, he's held, held that in hand the whole game, too. And I believe this is where it... I think this is where he wins... Oh, yeah. I was going to say no yep. spoilers, but uh, luckily you were correct. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So just, he, you know, he did, that is the picture perfect game, the game. You hit with two parasites on the early ice, you hit with three account siphons, and they don't draw any economy cards. And I, I think it's worth pointing out that, I mean, even even though the game was going in Gabe's favor for the entirety, basically, you still managed to score at four points. So yep. I think that's a testament to how strong HP Fast Advance is, really, yeah. if nothing else. I mean, I scored four points through those three account siphons, like, with no economy to back me up. Just Right. Yeah, that's EPF worth pointing out. just that good. Just a couple uh, green level clearance, maybe, was your economy, and the pop-up. I had the pop-up window, which admittedly, a huge economy card. Uh, but other than that, it was just the one green level clearance. And I'm running three green level clearance, three hedge fund, three Adonis campaign, and the pad campaign. But none of it came up. Okay, Not, no. so uh, let's finish up this game, and then we'll start a new recording for the next game. Do you want to? Do you want to say anything else to finish it up, though? Before uh, moving on. No, no, I think we're. I think we're good. Think we're okay, good. cool. So uh, th that's the uh, the first game of this match, and we will have the second game in just a bit. So keep keep watching.